everyone. Welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. We are doing our intro video for factoring the sum and difference of cubes. I've got both of the formulas for the factoring written down here. The sum of cubes just means that we'll have two terms that are cubes, something cubed and something cubed, and sum means we'll have addition between them. And then the difference of cubes, we will have something cubed and something cubed as our two terms, and we will have subtract. Remember that sum means add and difference means subtract. We're not actually going to go in depth on where the formulas come from. You can certainly distribute these out and see that you will get these things on the left side if you distribute these but we're just going to talk about how we remember them. So if I look at this first formula, and actually both formulas, because they're really the same formula, it's just the signs that you'll notice that are slightly different from one to the other. If I look at this first one and I say, what is really being cubed here? Well, what's being cubed is A, if I look at both of these. Okay, and what I have cubed for the second term is really B. So this is b being cubed and this is b being cubed. So they both have that same thing in the formula. What you'll notice is you have a short factor for each and you have a long factor for each. And whatever a and whatever b both are, those are the terms that go in the short factor. So you notice I have a and b here and I have a and b in these two term factors. You have a longer factor in the back for each of these, it's a three term factor. And the way that we remember getting this is we look at what's in the front and we're going to square what's in the front and put it in the front of the long factor. And we're going to take the back term in our front factor and we're going to square it and we're going to put it as the back term in our long factor. And then we'll take the two, we'll take A and B and we'll multiply them together to get the term in the middle. So we'll multiply in the middle. Same thing down here, right? This is a cubed and this is b cubed. So we have a and b in the short factor. a squared will give us the first term there. b squared will give us the back term there. If I multiply a and b, same thing, multiply in the middle. And now the way that we'll remember how the signs are placed inside of these factors is we are going to use the SOAP method. SOAP method will stand for same is the S and the O is going to stand for opposite and the AP part, both of these, are going to stand for always plus. Okay, so if you notice, I look here, I start with add in this top formula. So if I apply SOAP everywhere that I have addition or subtraction, I have S in the first one, I have O for the second one, and I have AP for the last one. So this is the same as what we started with. This minus is the opposite of what we started with. And then the last one is always going to be plus or always positive, some people say. Okay, similar thing with the difference of cubes formula. We start with a minus here, so when we say same, opposite, always plus, then same, this minus will match the minus we started with, this plus will be the opposite of the minus we began with, and then this one obviously always plus, always positive. Okay, so here we have the example x cubed plus 8. So this is a sum of cubes. You'll notice it's add between the two cubes. So I've put here the sum of cubes formula. We want to note that this is obviously, I think, x being cubed. And this term here is 2 being cubed. So what we're saying for our formula is that a is x in our formula and b in our formula is going to be 2. So we'll simply just go through and label all of these. Okay, so we would have x cubed plus 8 is going to equal, so I have a and b in the short factor. I'm not going to worry about the signs. I'm going to use the SOAP method and just go and do those last. So a and b go in the short factor, x and 2. So I'll have x and 2. And then remember we said to get the long factor we will square the first term and put it in front as the first term here, so that's x squared. And we'll square this last term and put it in the back, so 2 squared would be 4. And then we will multiply in the middle, so 2 times x will give us 2x in the middle. 
And now if I apply soap, then I have, starting with plus, I would have same would be plus. The opposite of what we started with would be minus, and then always plus for the last term. All right, let's look at one more. This is now a difference of cubes. We have minus. Again, formula is the same, but soap will apply the signs for us. So here I've got the formula for us. Uh, we want to see 27x cubed as not just x being cubed, but actually 3x all cubed, because 27 is 3 times 3 times 3, so that's 3 cubed. And then what times itself with three copies will give us one, the answer is one. So this is one cubed. So we see this as three X quantity cubed minus one cubed. So for our formula, we're saying that A is going to be three X and B is going to be one. And so we'll use those and we'll apply this. So we get 27 X cubed minus one is going to equal. So I build my short factor with just A and B. So again, three X, and one, and I'm gonna wait and do the signs all at the end with soap. If I square 3x and put it in the front, three times three would give me nine, and x times x gives me x squared. If I square one and put it in the back, one times one will just give me one. And then if I multiply a and b and put it in the middle, three x times one will give me three x. I go back and I apply soap. So if I'm starting with minus, then same would be minus, and opposite would be plus, and always plus or always positive will give us a plus for the last one as well. Okay, so that is a couple of introductory examples. We actually have separate videos for each type. We have a sum of cubes example video, and we have a difference of cubes example video. We have a few of each worked out for you, so go and check those out. Get more practice using these formulas. We'll see you in the next video.